Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm actually not here with Geeky Sparkles. We're going to give you a daily dose of dismal Disney. Doesn't seem right without Geeky Sparkles, but she's busy today. She's busy working on one of our other businesses. Uh, so let's talk about this, this uh, situation with Disney and Ron DeSantis. Now, we did a video a couple days ago talking about how on the way out, Disney injected some language into the uh, Reedy Creek Agreement that effectively stripped Florida of the ability to do anything with Disney. They can pay the bills, they can pay for everything, but they can't really do anything to Disney, with Disney. And it was kind of underhanded, but I'm also like, why didn't you guys read the fine print before you signed this agreement? So now we're talking, there might be some legal action. Um, for sure, the state attorney general uh, wants to see those papers, to see what Disney snuck in there. And uh, it's some pretty ridiculous language, guys. They're like, hey, yeah, we've got the power to control Disney until like the last descendant of King Charles dies and all this other other nonsense, but um, this is not going to go over very well. Uh, Ron DeSantis, regardless of what you think of him, regardless of what you think of Ron DeSantis, he is a very vindictive guy, and I think Disney might fool around and find out again. Uh, if this goes down the way, I think it might go down. I know a lot of people on Twitter are celebrating, like, look, Disney stuck at the Florida. They stuck at the Florida, guys. Disney wins. Disney wins. I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's going to go the way that Twitter thinks it's going to go. I think Disney is probably going to get uh, backhanded pretty severely by Florida because this is some uh, grade A um, effery. Can I say effery in the first you know, couple minutes of of, uh, <laughs> of the video? And uh, yeah, it's going to get real interesting, guys. So if you got one of those figment popcorn buckets, I strongly suggest you grab it, fill it up and uh, hang tight because this is going to go on for weeks, months, possibly years. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, uh, almost 300,000. So we're only like a couple hundred away from 300,000. Thank you for the support. We're going to do something for 300,000. I, I just don't know what yet. Some kind of a live stream or something probably. We don't do those very often on this channel. We do them all the time on the gaming channel. But nobody watches the gaming channel. So maybe you'll have to start watching. Uh, yeah, so put an article up on piratesandprincesses.net this morning. Kind of encapsulating what's going on. But actually... Uh, uh, some other people have a better take on it here. WDW News Today has a story on it. We got to, we'll go out to Insider here. Um, who else? We're gonna pull up CNN. Uh, you know this this is uh, everybody's talking about it now. I think we got to it pretty early. A lot of people didn't know what was going on, but yeah, even CNN is is commenting on it that what happened was when Disney transferred power from the uh, old Reedy Creek Board to the new Reedy Creek Board, they effectively put language in there that doesn't give the new board the ability to do much of anything. Um, you know, so they stuck it, they stuck it to Florida on the way out. They said under the agreement quietly approved on February 8th, as Florida lawmakers met in a special session to hand DeSantis control of the Reedy Creek improvement district, Disney would maintain control over much of its vast footprint in central Florida for 30 years. And in some cases the board can't take significant action without first getting approval from Disney. OK, this essentially makes Disney the government, board member Ron Perry said during Wednesday's meeting, according to a video posted by an Orlando television station. The board loses, for practical purposes, the majority of its ability to do anything beyond maintaining the roads and maintaining basic infrastructure. Yes. Uh, so Disney, the reason Disney was not fighting Reedy Creek and we knew something was up because we commented on this before. That the president of Disney World's like, yeah, hey guys, we welcome our new insect overlords. It's cool. It's all cool because they're not losing anything. Basically, what's going on is Florida is going to foot the bill and Disney is going to be able to Disney just like they have because they put this language in there. Now, I would like to know why they didn't read the fine print because that seems uh, pretty incompetent to me. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're going to uh, take over Reedy Creek, and this is such a big deal. And it's getting uh, a lot of attention in the media. Uh, why they wouldn't actually look at the contract they're signing is beyond me, but they didn't, apparently. And now uh, DeSantis is paying $1,300 an hour to hire a team of lawyers to figure out how this happened. 
uh, to figure out how Disney outmaneuvered them. And they did. Look, there's there's no way around it. Somehow, somebody either willfully or you know accidentally dropped the ball, didn't read the fine print. They signed these documents and whoopsie doopsie, Disney still has basically still has control of Reedy Creek. So they weren't losing anything and they have to foot the bill. Florida has to foot the bill now. Um, in some ways, it's better. I think a lot of people are defending Disney, but I'm like, you know, as, as Geeky pointed out this morning, you know, Disney has really let things go in terms of safety. Um, you know, they're not buying fire trucks. They're not hiring more firefighters. Um, you know, you don't want a corporation being in control of, of emergency services like that. You know, haven't you watched RoboCop? Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know, the OCP being in charge of Detroit. And uh, so in that regard, it's a much better situation. But yeah, basically Disney's like uh, Florida, you can foot the bill and uh, you can you can fix our roads and stuff for us, but you can't do anything else. So this is coming from Insider. DeSantis's board will pay hourly legal fees to investigate Disney's loophole in the governor's plan. DeSantis had previously planned to take over the company's governing rights of Walt Disney World. A prior ag agreement invoked by Disney renders the new board's power essentially obsolete. So it's going to cost Ron DeSantis and his hand-picked board nearly $1,300 an hour in legal fees to investigate how Disney found a loophole in the governor's plan to take over the company's governing rights over Disney World, stripping the new government-appointed board members of their power. Um, this is not going to stand. There, there's definitely legal action brewing. And if Disney had just, uh, you know, handed over the reins peacefully, I don't think it would escalate as much as it's going to. So Disney is not going quietly into the night. And again, a lot of people whooping and hollering on Twitter like, yeah, Disney stuck it to DeSantis. He hits back hard. Again, I don't care what you think about the guy. I, I really don't have much of an opinion, personally. I, I don't live in Florida. But the one thing I do know is he is vindictive as fuck. Okay, so if you think this is going to this is gonna go away, that they're just going to be like, oh, yeah, whoopsie doopsie, it looks like Disney snuck a fast one on us. Um, hmm. They pulled the wool over our eyes. They went into the briar patch. I guess there's nothing we can do about it, fellas. Oh, well, you know, maybe we should have said gay. Um, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. It's, it's not going to happen. There's going to be a lawsuit. And I guarantee you, if Florida gets control of Disney completely, there's going to be hell to pay. There's absolutely going to be hell to pay. Because again, regardless of what you think of, of DeSantis, my impression of him is he is uh, very vindictive. Uh, so an agenda from the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District's Wednesday meeting includes letters from two law firms agreeing to represent DeSantis in his fight against the entertainment giant. Uh, the firms Cooper and Kirk, Tommy Kirk, um, he had an axe to grind with Disney, and Lawson will represent the district regarding uh, certain constitutional and contract matters and potential legal challenges to the agenda. Uh, they're going to bill the Florida government almost $800 an hour. Lawson bills at $495 an hour, meaning until DeSantis' government will owe both firms at least about $1,300 an hour. Uh, each firm Tax on additional hundreds of dollars. So basically, insiders like, yeah, hey, guys, this is going to cost you a lot of money now because they have to kind of undo Disney's thing. But um, here's effectively effectively what happened coming from uh, WW News Today. Um, you know, after it was discovered that they basically pulled a fast one, again, a month after the – more than a month after the papers were signed, who the hell was not paying attention? Who the hell was not paying attention to this? And they probably snuck it in there to see if they were paying attention. And I stand corrected, by the way. I, the previous video, I couldn't remember the band or the color of the M&M. It was Van Halen. It was brown M&Ms, as like 5,000 people told me. Thank you very much. It's been a long time since I even thought about that whole incident. Yeah, apparently Van Halen, to make sure that, uh, you know, the venue was paying attention, would sneak something into their contract saying, hey, I don't want any brown M&Ms in my M&Ms in the green room uh, to see if they were actually reading the contract. Well, Disney snuck a whole pile of brown M&Ms, shit colored M&Ms into DeSantis's bowl. And nobody was, nobody was paying attention. Like what the hell did you, given how acrimonious this situation is, why, why did you think they were just going to fork over the keys? You know, 
Like, what the hell? So yeah, now the uh, Florida Attorney General's office is requesting public records documents related to Disney's last minute agreement with the uh, Reedy Creek Improvement District. Uh, Florida Politics reports that the Attorney General Ashley Moody's Chief of Staff, John Percival, sent a records request to the Reedy Creek Improvement District today um, asking for information on emails, text messages, and other correspondence between district employees and board members about the agreement. I think there's a lawsuit coming, guys. Uh, please provide copies of all emails, text messages, and other correspondence from or to employees, board members, or other affiliates of the Reedy Creek Improvement District regarding the following topic. Documents discussing agreements, covenants, or similar documents approved or considered by the Board of Supervisors on February 8th. Please limit your search to documents discussing an intention or goal of circumventing, avoiding, frustrating, mitigating, or otherwise attempting to avoid the effects of the anticipated actions by the Florida governor and Florida legislature. Basically, we want to look and see if there was some correspondence about how they were going to stick it to Ron DeSantis and friends. Because if there was, we're talking, we're talking legal action. We're talking there's going to be hell to pay. If you believe that individuals no longer affiliated with the Reedy Creek Improvement District may possess responsive public records, that are not in your custody or control, please advise how the Attorney General's office may be of assistance. Um, I ask that this request be expedited. Percival Moody's spokesperson did not respond to questions from Florida politics on whether Moody is launching an official investigation. Um, RCID Administrator John Class did not respond either. Earlier today, Governor Ron DeSantis's office did release a statement of intent to investigate Disney's past behavior over a contract signed the day before, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill which transformed the Reedy Creek Improvement District into the Central Florida Tourism Oversight Board, which includes five members personally appointed by the, the governor. The new board may not have any serving member who has worked for a theme park company in the past three years. Uh, one of Reedy Creek's important agreements includes the Declaration of Restrictive Covenants and the Developers Agreement which outlines Disney's rights over district property for the next 30 years, regardless, regardless of what the new board says. So we looked over the declaration. This is uh, WW News Today. And yeah, they had a ridiculous clause in there about the King Charles. You know, 21 years after the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles III passes away, and the declaration states the board can't use any of Disney's fanciful characters. They can't use, you know, Mickey Mouse or something, right? Um, this is the brown m and this is, the, this is what they snuck in there to see if they were paying attention. And I don't think they were paying attention. So this is on them, too. You know, I'm going to be honest here. Re again, regardless of what you think of Ron DeSantis, regardless of what you think about Disney, I think Disney was trying to pull a fast one. It is obvious that somebody was not paying attention. Okay. So this is on them, too. That somebody didn't read the contract or they didn't fully understand what Disney was getting. And they should have paid that $1,300 an hour before, before now, because this is kind of incompetent that they didn't read it before it was, you know, put into action. Another board member, uh, conservative personality Bridget Ziegler, shared her anger on Twitter. Her anger on Twitter. Uh, the arrogance of Disney continues from ignoring parents and allowing radicals to sexualize our children to now ignoring Florida taxpayers by sneaking in a last minute sweetheart development agreement. Disney has once again overplayed their hand in Florida. We won't stand for this and we won't back down if, unlaw if unlawful actions were taken. This development agreement will be nullified. If, this is, this is the key here, if unlawful actions were taken, this development agreement will be nullified. Now, it's very possible that Disney, because Disney has some of the best lawyers in the world, OK, and we've talked about this before. The reason they win so often, the reason they get away with so much is they have some of the best lawyers in the world. It's possible that this was legal. It was done legally and they just weren't paying attention. That's that's my personal opinion. I think that they were just like, yeah, OK, sign the deal. We're, we're done. We're done here. It's like, no, 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 no. You, you needed to read the paper. You need to read the paper before you signed it. At the meeting yesterday, Martin Garcia, the CFTOD. Siftad board chair discussed how powerful and rich Disney is and how they would need to take an adversarial position against the company. He also suggested they take this case to the Supreme Court in protracted litigation against Disney. 
Uh, the lack of consideration, the delegation of legislative authority to a private corporation, restriction of the board's ability to make legislative decisions, and giving away public rights without compensation for private purpose, among other issues, warrant the new board's actions and direction to evaluate these overreaching documents and determine how best the new board can protect the public's interest in compliance with Florida law. As of yet, official investigations have not been open, apparently, but, uh, you know, $1,300 an hour, uh, that is apparently what's going on. Um, I, I, it might be legal. I'm going to be completely honest. It might be legal. They might have actually had their lawyers look at it and uh, been like, hey, yeah, they signed this. That's what they're agreeing to. So we'll, we'll see what happens, guys. This is going to go on for a while. But I can tell you that um, the state of Florida is not going to be so welcoming of, of the Mouse House unless they get a probably get a Democratic uh, you know governor in there, which I don't see happening in Florida anytime soon. But who knows? Um, this might even require a personal visit by Mr. Bob Iger to get this sorted out. But it has just gone from bad to worse. Like this is, this is not cool. You know, this is, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants guys. We will talk later. Help support the channel. Go to the reef dot support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef dot support.